Central Ohio's news leader. This is 10 TV News This Morning. Up next, paying for college, a different approach to selecting schools and saving money. In Consumer 10 this morning, college application deadlines for many schools are fast approaching. And if you're concerned about how to pay for tuition, Adam Koch with Libertas Wealth Management Group and Aaron Green with College Liftoff are here to talk about a different approach to selecting a school that makes financial sense. And this is a big expense for students, for parents. How much does college typically cost for public and private schools these days? Well, college will cost you between eighty to two hundred thousand dollars. College is going to cost each student the equivalent of a house. That over the is span amazing. Of four years. And so, a lot of people are worried about that. They start trying to save when you know kids are younger. Some people can do that. Some people can't do that. But there are other options than saving two hundred thousand dollars because that's tough to do. Well, with college in this day and age, it's really about looking at it as a holistic investment. Mm -hmm. It's really seeing how do we get the best return on this investment. When you're when you're buying anything else of that magnitude, mm -hmm. especially like let's consider a house. Right. You're evaluating it in a couple of different fronts. You're buying a property and you're buying a mortgage. Mm -hmm. College is the exact same way. You buy into the academics of a school, mm -hmm. but then you buy into the, into the financial aid pack as it goes along with it as well. You put it together to get the same value, the proper value for education. So you wouldn't spend $300,000 on a house that's appraised at $120,000. Right. So you don't want to spend $90,000 on an education that only yields $30,000 a year. That doesn't make any sense. All right. So what? do you do to make it easier for parents? <laughs> sure. Here at College Liftoff, what we really work on and what we work with all uh, Adam, Adam's group and everyone else is really working with families on how do you make a good choice? How do you buy education in the current climate mm -hmm. when you're basically being tasked with trying to send a kid to school on what is equivalently trying to use a whole income of a family member mm -hmm. for, that, for, that, for that calendar year. So we like to look at this and say, okay, if the student is going to school for something like, let's say, accounting, mm -hmm. right now the average placement for accounting is right at around fifty to sixty thousand dollars in the Midwest between the three top schools of Notre Dame, Indiana, Ohio State. Mm -hmm. So the value of that degree is worth more than something that's going to qu come out with yielding, like, let's say, thirty thousand right. dollars. So should that student be taking on the same amount of debt? for that degree. So Should what would be the option cost? for that student then? Actually it's a lot of negotiating with the universities and working and structuring the cost so that you're buying this properly. It's a lot like buying a car. Mm -hmm. uh, very much like buying a car. So when you're buying a car you, you don't want to go in and pay the same price for a, a Toyota Camry that you would for a Porsche. Right. Same thing goes with college. And picking the right school for that degree. Um, Adam, what's your advice to parents? No, I just I think that when it comes to college savings it's a lot like um, you know being in a big city and having, having a free road. Mm -hmm. and a toll road and you know what Aaron does in college liftoff what they do is they teach parents that there is a free road that might even be quicker and less costly mm -hmm. than taking the toll road the problem is so many people don't realize that the free road even exists and your job is to kind of give people parents yeah. students some options what they can do to make college cheaper than paying the full price exactly there there's a lot of ways to really look at it you mentioned one which mm -hmm. is really studying the academic side of it mm -hmm. a lot of what we do when we're working with families and particularly students is mm -hmm. career development mm -hmm. a good chunk of our time is spent doing that okay well great I think it's a big help for a lot of people out there big expense a lot of parents obviously worry about it. a lot of students do too so college liftoff thank you so much for being here today right. and Thanks, giving Karina. us Appreciate some it. good advice as many kids head right. off to college thank you. Aaron over to you